one, I'm not going to go to jail for it. I'm not going to be... Welcome back to my channel and today is Makeup Monday so you guys know we are about to do a makeup look but today I'm going to do things a little bit differently. Um, I don't think I've ever done a chit chat get ready with me type video on my channel but this is going to be a get ready with me chit chat Thanksgiving no makeup makeup look just because I mean nobody's really going anywhere we're going to be getting ready to go like in our living rooms or wherever you may be gathering. Um, for me this year I won't be going anywhere. Let's just go ahead and get the business out of the way. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that you can be a part of the Unit Tribe. Make sure you turn on your notification bell so that you do not miss an upload every single time a video do does go up. And if you are not following me on social media, go ahead and follow me at Delana B underscore on Instagram. Now let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, so today I am actually going to start with my brows. Um, I haven't done that in a really long time. I'm going to start off with my brows. Don't pay attention to my hair. I'm actually going to get my hair done on tomorrow. I took down my twists. So this is what we have left. And this is kind of sort of what we, you know, are rocking with today. Um, but yeah, guys, as I said in the intro, this video is a little bit differently. This is going to be like a chit-chat, get rid of me or whatever. I've never done one of these on my channel just because... I just, I haven't. Um, as we all know that it is the holiday season, it's holiday time and everything. Everyone is getting ready to either visit their family or not visit their family, depending on, you know, what's going on. I know COVID kind of guidelines say, you know, not to visit your family and whatnot, but I know a lot of people are still going to gather. For me and my family, we won't be gathering this year. Um, my boys are not here. They are actually, this is their holiday to go with their dad. So, it is just me um, this holiday season. My mom kind of, you know, she she's not going to cook. I'm usually the cook uh, <laughs> of all the holidays lately. But my mom was just like, you know, you kind of been running um, pretty much since before my birthday. You've kind of kind of just been running all over the place. Just take a break. Um, you don't have to cook, which I really wasn't planning on cooking anyways. Anytime my kids are not home for a holiday I usually don't do too much just because the holidays for me being a mom is to be spent with your children and since I can't do that um yeah I'm not I'm not cooking <laughs> just because I don't feel like it like I feel like I don't feel like it so I'm not going to plus I just kind of been in like this rut kind of like a funk I don't know what it is I'm trying to really get myself out of it um I wasn't even gonna film today oh this is my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow wiz in dark brown I wasn't going to film today I wasn't gonna upload at all this week but uh I actually saw and I keep referencing this meme that said how dare you insult God by putting off tomorrow what you can do today like who says you're gonna be lucky enough to see tomorrow or something like that so I was like, okay, Delaney, get up, go film really quickly. It won't take you that long. Go ahead and film and just kind of talk to the people, kind of just, you know, talk to people because something you say may can help somebody else and, oh, excuse me. <laughs> and yeah, if my kids are here, they will kind of be like, mommy, why aren't you filming today? Like my little one, he keeps me on task, on schedule. He's like, mommy, are you filming today? Today is Monday. It's Makeup Monday. Why aren't you filming? So here we are. So, as I was saying, I am, I've been in this rut. I don't know what the rut is. Sometimes I get into these modes where I kind of get, I don't know what you call it. I get into, it's not like a nasty mood or anything. It's just a mood where I kind of want to be to myself. Um, the only person that, and these, these have been going on for years and they come very it's not often but when they do come it, it lasts for a couple of days um especially now that I'm single when I used to get them uh my husband well my ex-husband at the time he would kind of sense and kind of you know take my mind off of it we'll either go out somewhere or something like that he'll kind of try and take my mind off of it which will help me get out of it quicker 
but since it is just me now it's kind of taking me a little bit of time to get out of it but i am okay um nothing is really wrong it's just like you know how when you are reflecting on your life and where you are and all of the things that you know you want for your life and all of the things that you are currently doing it i don't know self-reflection has been very heavy for me lately um as you guys know i am not happy with my current job um and you know that whole situation if you guys haven't seen my rent videos please go ahead and check those out but uh as you guys know i am not a hundred percent you know with that anymore and i kind of want to just really get to a point to where i can venture off and not have to clock or be on someone else's job you know what i'm saying so i really am I won't say frustrated with it because I'm trying to trust the process and know that God is God. And at the right time, everything that my heart desires, I will eventually get. Um, but, you know, even while I'm waiting and doing the work to get me where I know I want to be, it's just frustrating because I still have to deal with it every day. You know what I mean? In addition to that, it's just like everyone really relies on me heavily for everything especially like and i'm not complaining you know but like my mother for example my mom relies on me heavily my whole family really does um and the crazy part is that i'm not even i'm like the middle of the family we have my my older sister and then i have a little cousin under me it's just the three of us but everyone really i didn't even tell you what i was using um, as I'm talking, y'all, I may not give y'all exactly what I'm doing. This is my, no, uh, my Mac little quad or whatever. Not quad, but y'all get it. Everything will be in the description box. I'm not even going to try and tell y'all what I'm using. If I miss something, look in the description box. It will be there. But yeah, um, my whole family just really relies on me for everything. Like, everybody around me relies on me for everything. You got a problem, call Delaney. Why? Because Delaney won't fix it. Everybody knows that. It's just how I am. And it's kind of like I've been exhausted lately. And I'm thinking that it's a physical exhaustion, but it's not. It's just a mental exhaustion. It's like everyone relies on you, but who do you rely on? You know what I mean? So it's it's kind of like, all right, Elena, you, you got to just kind of take a step back, especially when I just feel like everything is all on me. Like I'm, I won't say carrying the load myself, but I'm pretty much carrying the load myself and that's just with everything in my life at this current moment being a mom you know being a daughter being a, a niece a cousin a family member a friend all of that like it's just I feel like you just carry the load for so long and then it's just like now nah, I don't want to carry it you know what I mean like I don't I don't I don't want to carry it I don't want to have to do it all myself yeah I don't want to really you know be that for everybody i don't want to carry the load for everybody like i just don't want to do that anymore not saying that i won't i just don't want to be the one that everybody can call on and it'd be like delana will fix it like i don't want to do that no more delana gonna carry the load or delana will do this but delana will do that like um i don't want to do that because it's heavy and um you know i kind of just been going along with the flow of everything just you know because that's what you do that's who i am i'm the person that fixes everything for everybody i'm the person that does everything for everybody i'm the person that carries everything for everybody i carry it all and i'm at a point to where it's just like hmm, i'm tired who's carrying me who who's carrying my load you know who's carrying everything that i'm trying to do i'm carrying your load while trying to carry my load and like I tell them, you know, I don't mind doing it because I don't, you know, it's the people that I love and I, I care about, but it's just like, who do I run to when I'm empty? You know what I'm saying? Who do I lean on when I'm empty? Or who do I lean on when I don't have it to give? Who do I lean on? Nobody. So this is my, um, well, I feel like I'm about to start crying. This is stupid. I'm not doing this today. This is my NARS, uh, caramel concealer. I'm not doing this today. But yeah, it's it's just, you know, it's not anything that I can't handle because I've been handling it, like, pretty much all my life. All my adult life, let me say that. Shit, even all my life. 
Um, but yeah, I just, y'all, I don't want to do it no more. Mental health, my, like my mental health is everything to me right now because I have two little people that I really have to be there here for. Like I have two little people that are relying on me that should be relying on me. That should be solely the only ones relying on me at this point, which they are not. But I just, I need to be good for them. So I'm trying to do everything that I possibly can to make sure that those two little people are set for life. Or at least set for a good while. Now, we, like I said, we live a pretty good life. We do. I can't say that. But there's more that I want for myself. There's more that I want for my children. Um, it's, it's just more that is required of me right now. And I need to be a little bit selfish. And uh, I don't know how that's really going to be received especially by my mama child but I just kind of gotta bite that bully right now because she's my mom <laughs> like with um even with like where I'm trying to go with my career I am really trying to I'm really trying to like build a lot this I'm going into the uh the map book by crayon case and we're just going to do, I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to work it out. I'm really trying to build something. And I feel like right now I don't have what I need to build it. Like I don't have the connections. I don't have, like I really want to venture out and meet new people. Not just to, you know, get something from them. But to kind of get something from them. Like we can get from one another. Like I really want to be around people who have the same interests as me, people who have the same drive as me, people who, um, you know, want to grow in the same direction that I'm going, you know, people that we have common interests, both male and female. Like I want more connections because right now I don't have them. Like I've always been a loner. It's just been me and a handful of people, really my, my best friend. It's just really been me and her for a long time. And I want more than that. Like, I want more. Like, I just feel like I'm outgrowing what I currently have. Not saying that I'm outgrowing her, because I know she's going to watch this, and I don't want her to feel like that's what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is I need more than what I have currently. That means with the current friendships, with the current status of, you know, where I live, with my current position, my current job, like, I just need more. You know, like I want to have more genuine people around me that I can learn from, that can learn from me, you know, that we can build upon one another. Like I said, both male and female, like I'm in a season of push. I'm in a season of more. I'm in a season of building. I'm in a season of giving and taking, not just always giving, having something to be taken, you know, um, like a give and take kind of thing. Like I'm just, I'm just tired of the same old, same old. I really am. Like when I was in the military, I would meet different people all the time. I would meet people that were uber driven, whether it would be for the military or just for life period. And, you know, I missed it. Like I miss missing different people and kind of feeding off of one another and just, being open to so many things and us grow we grew together you know what I'm saying like we accomplished so much and I want that like I want that that partnership those friendships I want all of that all over again and I just don't have it right now this is uh the Jacqueline Hill palette by Morphe uh we gonna deepen this up a little bit so that's just kind of a part of my funk too. Like I don't have, like I have a, a group of what I would consider good girlfriends. You know, it's about, mm, mm, just a few. And um, we're all on different paths in life. You know, we all have different walks and we're all in different stages of our lives. Um, I have one that's married. The rest are single and one is in a relationship. But for the most part, two of them 
you know, they're they're very driven. They're very they they have like passions like me as far as starting businesses and actually moving on starting those businesses. Like they're putting in the work for the businesses and you know, we kind of feed off of one another. And that is just it feeds my soul. Like they give and take. It really is something about that for me. Like I feel like you just have to surround yourself with people that want the same thing that you want. And I want to find those people that are in the beauty community, that are in the mentorship community. Like one of my friends, she does mentoring. And I love that. Um, because, you know, that's kind of where I want to go with it. She's also a teacher <laughs> by nature. But she, well, she was a teacher, but she's like a teacher in her heart. So... And, you know, that's what I say. I always like to teach, even with the makeup stuff. Like, I want to teach someone how to be better. You know, teach them how to, you know, just bettering ourselves while I'm also doing the same for me. Like, I'm bettering myself while I'm helping you, if that makes sense. And where am I going with this look? I don't even know. I should have did green. Oh, well, whatever. I'm going to deepen this up a little bit. Um... I don't even know what I was saying. But yeah, I just want, guys, I just want something that right now is not attainable. Well, let me not say that. It's, it is attainable. It's just... At first, and then another thing is that with COVID, you can't really go out for real, for real. You can't. And in the area that I live in, like, the people that I'm talking about are pretty much non-existent because where I live is ratchet. Not saying the neighborhood that I live in, but just the city itself is ratchet as hell, okay? <laughs> it's ratchet and what I'm looking for is not here. Like, sometimes I just want to go to a nice lounge and just vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't have that here. I would have to drive somewhere to go get that. And I don't like to drive, so there's that. Then, you know, not everybody has the same interests as I do. So it's just like, do you want to go by yourself? No. Okay, great. Then I get tired at a certain time. So like we got to go by before 10 or I'm not going, you know, and I have to get out of that. Like I'm trying to really get myself out of that thinking that I'm old when I'm not. Because when my ass do get old, I'm going to be looking crazy. Like, dang, I should have, you know, when I was 30, talking about I was old, I should have really been like out there doing, you know, what I wanted to do, which... I'm going to get there, guys. I am. So a part of my frustration is me because I know what it is that I need to do. I know what it is that I want. I just have to go after it. And I'm not as aggressive right now with it. I don't know why, um, but I need to figure that out. And that's a part of the frustration. I have to figure that out. Um, I don't know if it's a fear thing. I don't know if it's a thing of I've gotten comfortable and I don't want to interrupt that comfortable comfortable comfortability I don't want to interrupt that what I'm familiar with because I don't know how to say because I think I don't know I don't want to interrupt that and I also don't want to make anybody upset I don't want to offend anybody I don't want anybody to feel like oh she's just you know whatever whatever I'm not trying to hurt nobody's feelings but I have to do what is best for me I just do and this is a conversation that, you know, I'm going to have to have with those people that I love, especially my mama, Lord, because she really, she really depends on me for a lot. And I'm not going to turn my back on her. I'm just going to have to let her know, listen here, woman, there's some things I have to do for myself that you may not understand. Like case in point, I had went last week. She had some stuff she needed to get done at her house. So I went over there, went, got the money and everything so she can get it done, sat at her house with her for hours. After I had already worked the whole day, I still had to come home, um, edit a video. I had to finish doing the homework with my kids, bathe and get ready for the next day. She, I stayed with her just to make sure she got everything she needed to get done. The next day, I had to go to work again. So, um, well, actually I had jury duty. That's what it was. But anyways, the next day I, um. Uh, I went to get my boys from her because she gets the boys from me from school. I went to get my boys from her and then I kind of, I didn't sit with her. So she called me upset and she was like, well, you didn't even um, sit down. You just um, left and didn't give me a chance to give you an update. 
But the next day I had to take my boys to their dad because it's his holiday. So I had to take my boys to their dad. So I needed to get home, get ready for all of that. And she just did not, she didn't get it. She was just like, well, you didn't sit down with me and blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, I had to tell her, my look, I got stuff to do. Okay. Like my life cannot revolve around you. It just can't, you know, I cannot just be everywhere and for everybody like I have to be there for myself like I am tired y'all it's only one of me Jesus Christ I'm I'm tired shucks I'm tired so just that kind of stuff you know I feel like I'm rambling but that's okay y'all get what I'm saying moving on to what I'm trying to do with like my career and where I want to go I am not a person that's supposed to be sitting on nobody else's job I'm just not. I've realized that when my when my current employer and my current management, um, I really realized like I've always known this, but I really realized that I am not supposed to be on nobody else's clock. I'm not. I'm supposed to be my own boss, and that's where I'm trying to go. And I told everybody that's close to me like my this job will be my last job on somebody else's clock. The next job or the next EIN will be under my name. It has to be. Like, I am putting it out into the universe. I am trying to really get this YouTube popping, get some other things going outside of YouTube, land some partnerships, some deals, like, venture off into my businesses and everything. Like, I am working hard to make that happen. And I gave myself six months. And I think that may be why I'm so tired because I put myself on these, um, I give myself deadlines so that I'll stay motivated. But I think that's actually hurting me in the end because I'm, I'm I, there's a clock I have to beat. And so um, I don't think that's working out for me, but I am trusting God through it all as I always have. I am trusting him that every desire, every prayer, every ounce of work everything he sees and he will do the rest like I'm doing my part because I know that he will do the rest that's just how me and God work and that's just that's just the nature of the beast like I have to get out of this this corporate world where it's well not even corporate because I work in the government state government and it's just time for me to, to just, I can't be on somebody else's time. Like, I can't be reporting to nobody else. I can't do the whole, you, I just, mm-mm, I can't do it. Like, you want to be a, a freaking authoritator or you want to be authoritative when it's convenient for you and this, that, and the third, and then you wrong. Like, I don't have time for that. I don't have time to be reporting to nobody. I don't have time to be taking if you want to call them orders from nobody, because first of all, I don't nobody order me around. I don't have time to be taking directives from nobody. Like, I just don't have time for it. I don't. I'm supposed to be my own boss. I'm supposed to create jobs for other people in an environment where they can flourish, in an environment where you allow them to be them while they're still doing the job at hand, but you first have to have the same vision. You first have to have the same goals. I want to be able to mentor someone so to the point of you become so good and you venture off and do your own thing. And I can congratulate you and be there for you every step of the way as you do your own thing and that be that. Like that's the type of vibe I'm on. I'm not on this crab in the bucket mentality. Like I'm trying to make sure that everybody wins and everybody is happy. But not everybody is on that. Alright, I went ahead and finished my eyes. Um... Just pop some lashes on. But yeah. I don't even know what I was saying. But yeah. I just. I want to be able to really push people to be their best selves. You know what I'm saying? And actually have people like really do the work. So we can see the outcome. So that you can grow and then I can grow with you as I help you grow. Um, I'm going to go in with this Huda Beauty Primer. I'm going to just put a little bit on because I'm literally taking this off as soon as I take some pictures. <laughs> it is like 6 o'clock at night and on a Monday and I have nowhere to go. But yeah. I also, um, I want to be able.
able to like bounce ideas off of other people and we kind of come together connect and collab like i really want to start this podcast and i almost think i got it ready to like launch the first episode or whatever i'm still talking in between a couple of names but that's okay um once once it's it'll it'll finalize itself like i kind of wrote it down in my my prayer journal and i'll let god reveal to me which name it needs to be but um I really want to jump this podcast off because I feel like this podcast can really take me somewhere else. Like I always wanted to do like panels and stuff. Like I, 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 I'm when I was in um, grad school, I was actually a mentor for other graduate students, which is crazy. Like it wasn't anything that I sought out. They actually sought me out. Uh, I remember getting emails one day from random people that I did not know. Don't even know how they got my information, but apparently it was from one girl that was in my class. And she just thought that I would be a good mentor for her. And I was just like, okay. So, I, you know, I would kind of talk to her and other people and kind of just coach them, you know, in, in school just to kind of help them along the way because I was already almost done. I think I was in like my last class actually. And uh, it kind of made me, you know, really tap into my mentorship or whatever like I have a degree in psychology but I do not use it like I don't use it at all and I got into psychology to do counseling um I wanted to do marriage counseling and then that kind of quickly faded away <laughs> but I've always wanted to this is my uh mac pro concealer since I said we're doing a no makeup makeup look we're just gonna do concealer today and um the foundation or not the foundation but your base for a no makeup look has to be skincare like your skin has to be you gotta take care of your skin if you guys have not seen my uh skincare video it will be linked down in the description box below so you guys can see that but yeah um i got into psychology because i really wanted to like talk to people and like counsel people and whatnot and just understand like how people react the way they react why they react the way they react and all that good stuff so i got my degree in psychology and did nothing with it but now i'm really like contemplating getting back into it and me being on this podcast or starting this podcast will help me like i feel like there's a lot of things that needs to be talked about and just have like really good dialect with intelligent people about conversations that people don't want to talk about but it need that like that the conversation has to happen you know what I mean? It's, it's uncomfortable. Some of the situations are uncomfortable. It does not, it's not in just one area. It's like in all areas, whether it be parenthood, relationships, um, friendships, adulthood, family. It's, it's talking about everything up under the sun, but it's like things that people don't really want to talk about, but it goes on every single day. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to get that off the ground as well. Like it's a lot of things that I'm trying to get off the ground. And I just really wish that I had people to share that with, you know, people. And I do. I have a couple of friends who are interested. I do. But, you know, I want to kind of connect with other people who have those same goals. or have those same um, things going on so we can they can kind of mentor me, you know, like you've already started the process or whatever. You know, tell me what your journey was. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to be able to, to find mentors. I Not only do I want to be a mentor, I want to be a mentee as well. Because I'm trying to learn all, like, I'm, I'm a learner bee. I'm always looking to learn something. And that's a part of the reason why, too, I am annoyed with my current position. Because I'm not learning anything. I'm not. It, and it's not benefiting me in any way, really. Uh, I can't take what I'm doing and take it somewhere else. And plus, it's just not my ministry. It is not my passion. It's just, it, it, it is, but it's not. Because they're not allowing me to do what it is that I want to do that I know I can flourish in. You know what I'm saying? So, my thing is, okay, you won't let me be me. I'll make a way myself. And that's that. So, yeah, I've got this podcast that I'm trying to put out. In addition to, you know, keeping up with YouTube. I'm also trying to find my rich husband. I don't know where he is, but he needs to come on and find me because I'm tired of being out here by myself. I'm really looking for companionship, relationships, connection, all of that. Like, I'm really asking God to prepare my heart for all of the things that I want. And my rich husband is one of them. I'm asking God to prepare me. As y'all notice, I have not laughed yet because I'm dead ass. Like, I'm really praying for a rich husband. I am. 
not only am I praying for a rich husband, he don't have to be filthy rich, but he just needs to have, he needs to be one, financially stable. He also needs to make more than me. He just does. And he needs to be generous because I'm tired of dealing with people that are cheap, okay? And they ain't really trying to do nothing to, for you. Like, I broke my camera last week or was a week before last. And it's two people that's in my life or trying to be in my life, which they're not really because they pissed me off. And I called them telling them that I broke my camera. My camera. Neither of them even had a real solution. Why are you in my life? Neither of them offered to like either buy me a new camera or, you know, help me get a new camera. It was just like, dang, that's tough. <laughs> That's that. Stuff like that really like, so that's why I'm just, I'm praying for my rich husband, the husband that God has for me that wants to help me flourish, that wants to see me succeed. And then also I want to help him. You know, I'm, I'm one of those ride or die type chick. Well, we ain't finna die, y'all. But I will real life be there for you every step of whatever way that we need to get there. I will help you obtain the goals that you're trying to achieve. I will do whatever it takes to get us wherever it is that we're both trying to go. As long as one, I'm not going to go to jail for it. I'm not going to be in any kind of danger behind it or trying to get to it. But if it's something that you want, we're going to get it. And I'm really praying for my my soulmate. I'm really praying for my helpmate. I'm really praying for my partner in crime, my partner in life, my best friend, you know, my business partner, my confidant, my leader, my, I'm really praying for my rich, wholesome husband sent from God right above. He needs to, we need to be equally yoked. I need him to be a reflection of me in male form. I really do. Like, that's the only way it's going to work. I, I figured it out. You, you got to just be me in male form. That's all. So I'm going to wait on him. And that's the part of my frustration, too. Like, where he at? Okay. Where is he? Where is he at? Why he hiding? I do pray for him nightly, though. I make sure I pray for this faceless man. Because, well, I have an image of what he looks like. But I'm pretty sure it's probably not what he going to look like. But I'm praying, God, here's my, and sees my prayers, child. But, yeah. I pray for my children. I just, I worry about them being okay, you know, with everything that's going on. Them, me raising them essentially by myself, even though their dad is in the, in the picture. You know, he's not in the house every day. So I worry about, am I doing, you know, this the right way? Am I, am I raising them the right way? You know, kids will be kids, but it's just like, dang. And, and my plan a, a part in, in why they responding, the way they responding, doing the stupid stuff that they doing, you know, little kid stuff, lying, things of that nature. And it's just like, am I doing my job as their mom? So it's just like a lot of stuff that I'm frustrated about. I'm not really frustrated, just trying to maneuver through and just make sure I'm being my best self at the same time while trying to navigate all these different walks of life, child. And it can get overwhelming if you let it. And I think I've gotten to a place a weird place where I've kind of let the stuff that really should not bother me bother me. And it's crazy because um, T. Tabitha she was like, you know, don't let those people that don't matter into your spirit. Like, don't let those people that don't matter bother you. And it's just like, Delana, why are you letting these people bother you? I know I look crazy, y'all, but it's gonna come together, watch. Why are you letting these people... I look like Casper the Friendliest Ghost. Why are you letting these people bother you? And it's just like... I don't know. Why am I letting these people bother me? Why? What's the point? I'm trying to like make a conscious decision to just kind of let everything go. You know, just kind of focus on where I'm trying to go. What I'm trying to achieve. Pray through the entire process without driving myself crazy while also enjoying the process. Because what I don't want to do is get to where I'm going but have not even enjoyed the process at all. You know, that was so. Like, what's the point in getting everything that you want but you're not even, you weren't even able to see it come into fruition? Like, because you were so worried 
are so focused on all the things that did not matter. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be that person. I just don't. So, those are just some of my frustrations, y'all. I'm going in with my Kat Von D powder just to kind of, because I was looking kind of Michael Jackson-ish. I don't want to mess this look up because the eye look is pretty. All right, here I'm going to go in with my um, Beauty Bakery bronzer. I'm going to just go in with uh, these two, and then I'm going to use this as highlighter. But yeah, do y'all ever get into these modes where it's just like, you, you just self-reflect and it puts you in a mood? Like, you know, just because you know that you haven't reached your highest potential yet, and it, it's just a bit frustrating that, you know, you want all these things for your life. And I know I'm going to obtain them. I know it. I just, I know it. it. It hasn't been anything that I've spoken over myself, over my children, over my life that I have not gotten. There's been things that I didn't speak over my life that I've gotten that have been very positive. That I thank God daily for, you know. So, it, it's just a matter of... Being patient, doing the work to get those things. You know, I will never, ever, ever doubt God's abilities, okay? Because I am a living testimony of God's grace, God's mercy, the things that God can do. Like, I am, I am. <laughs> That's why when people be like, you know, what what keeps you going or how do you get through this? And it's, it's, it's my faith and it's God, man, like. Me and God have been through some things, child. Like, just me and him. We done been through some things. And that's why, you know, while I'm frustrated, I have that peace in the way to know that I'm okay, that I'm covered. Like, my uncle always tells me, you good. <laughs> you you good. And I am, you know. And But I'm human at the end of the day. You know, I have my gripes and my frustrations just like everybody else and I'm human I'm entitled to those because like I said I only want the best for me and I also want the best for those around me as well but you have to come to a point where it's like you have to do what is best for you and not everybody around you may agree may not agree with that and that you have to be okay with that you know you have to be okay with that but I've always been a person that does whatever I have to do for me you know not saying that I'm selfish because anybody that knows me knows that I'm not. But I make this—I make decisions solely for myself. I mean, of course, now being a mom, I make decisions with my children in mind. But any decision that I make will benefit them. You know, so I'm, I've always been that kind of person. Like, I don't do things because somebody else or because of somebody else. Or I don't do things because of somebody else. I'm, you know, in, in, a, in a way, like I'm not gonna hurt anybody in the process but I have to do me like I have to do what's best for me if I'm going to flourish the way that I need to flourish like I left and went to the military when I was 18 I joined at 17 and I just I told everybody listen I'm going to the military nobody understood why I mean you smart you got scholarships you can do whatever you can go to any college blah 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 they didn't get it they didn't get it but I had a plan and the plan worked it worked out better than I could have ever imagined at that. So, you know, a lot of people, you know, my family, they were upset. You, we, you ain't gonna be here. And especially my mama, you know, my friends, they didn't believe I was leaving. One of my friends told me, I'll believe it when I see it. Girl, I bust out. Bust out. And came back 10 years later. I bet you believe me now. When I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. Unless there's a reason, like a reason why I physically cannot do it, I'm going to do it. I'm not just about to say I'm going to do something and then I don't. That don't even make sense to me. I don't believe in offering of lies. Who has time for that? I'm not about to do that. This is the um, Color 5 Times Makeup Shayla Boomin Highlighter. I'll just stick this in my inner tear duct. But yeah, those are just... You know, not much, but just I wanted to talk to y'all about things that I feel like everybody goes through. I'm just in a weird space right now where I'm trying to navigate while holding on at the same time to things that I probably need to let go 
tough. Um, I've always been told that there's a, which is crazy. I've always been told that I kind of sort of operate in fear a little bit, <laughs> which I can see that. Um, I don't know if it's fear more so than stability and what I'm familiar with and what I'm comfortable with. This is my Fenty Beauty. I absolutely love this stuff. This is like a new favorite of mine. But yeah, I've been told that I operate in fear. And I know that sometimes I am my biggest hindrance. And I'm really trying to get out of that spirit. Like, I don't want to continue to operate in that spirit. This is going to be Vamp. That's the lippy that I'm going with today. Ooh, y'all. I gotta get my nose hairs, y'all. I had, um... Shave my nose hairs and ended up burning my daggone lips. I mean, burning my nose. It was crazy. I'm going to outline with uh, ColourPop's pitch first. trying to get out of that whole operating in fear but I went ahead and I used the um the pitch uh lip liner by Colourpop and then vamp vamp lipstick or liquid lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills and y'all that's gonna be it I know this video probably was kind of all over the place I really just wanted to like chat with you guys kind of let you guys know where I am in the case that you don't see me for a little bit lies I'll be here <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna work this week but I am I will be um, uploading some videos for you guys. It is Thanksgiving week, so I hope that you guys have a safe and happy holiday. I know that this year is a little bit different because, you know, we can't really be with our family the way that we want to. And I hope that even with this new kind of way of being, I hope that you're able to at least be with your family, whether it be via Zoom, via FaceTime, some kind of way. I hope that you're able to be with your loved ones. I hope that you guys enjoy your Thanksgiving. I hope that you have a happy, happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate Thanksgiving. If you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, then I hope you have a happy time with your family if you guys are just gathering because everybody is off from work. Um, I know that's kind of how my family does it. We just kind of get together. It's not really so much about the holiday. It's really more so about the fellowship and getting the family together. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any of the issues that I'm having or if you have any advice, leave it down in the comments for me. If you have any questions for me, leave it down in the comments as well. Um, I do have a Big Sister Tea Time at Yahoo.com email that I was asking people to send me um, questions on if there was anything that you guys wanted to talk about kind of like an advice type um, thing then you can send those questions to that email it can be anonymous or you can reveal yourself if you want to or I can reveal to the people who you are if you want to but yeah I will have that link down in the description box below if you made it this far you might as well go ahead and join the Young tribe by subscribing make sure you turn on that notification bell so that you do not miss an upload every single time I upload Follow me on the gram at Delana B underscore and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.